thought I tried, but the store was closed. Yeah, I know. I'll get him a cricket set when I get home. Okay? Yes. Sorry. Listen, it's got to go, okay? Bye. Yeah, I love you too. There is a toy store in Broadgate. Open late. Oh, thank you. Forgive me, I do not turn. You like cricket? Best sport in the world. After baseball. I saw a pink toy thing poking out your bag. You have a daughter? I have a son. Four. I wonder what age we're given that toy that we think our entire life will then become. Philosopher. I was given a marble. Pearl white with streaks of gold. It was honestly the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I was eight. You? Yeah. Seven. Scale extra. I dissect it, rewire. I'll go very fast. I lost my marble on a drain match in primary school to George Tobbins. Fat kid, marble king. Been looking for it ever since. So you lost your marble? <laughs> I'd have been an artist if I kept that marble. Maybe I design cars. What do you do instead? I'm an MI6 case officer working for Her Majesty's government, Professor. Nothing I said is a lie, Professor Ramini. My name is John. I know there's something you really want concerning your daughter's marble. Boston has the best neurosurgeons in the world. Give me four minutes. You have three. I want my boy to be a writer. Totally selfish. Your daughter? To... To be healthy. With sanctions impossible in Iran for the next 20 years. Live good lives in Iran. you dreamed of a thing? I do not dream, I am a scientist. He's in science to build your leader's dreams, not yours. Ambition and defense are not mutually exclusive. Naturally, and it's the sovereign right of the Islamic Republic of Iran. My duty is to secure our people's future. Fine. But do you trust your leader? Or do you trust Cyrus? Cyrus' age was unbridled. <laughs> In talk of heaven, there is no heaven but here. You know Omar Khayyam? They talk of hell, there is no hell but here. Not even the Ayatollah can kill poetry. Our republic governed by a puppet. What is the difference in any other country? These are dangerous men. Soon to have their fingers on a nuclear trigger. I work for my government like you. Fine. I want you to be able to defend your realm. But not threaten kids marbles. You like what you do? My son will have to make up for it. Poor bastard. I read that you grew up on a farm. I imagine a beautiful oak tree on the crest of a hill. No oak tree. But my father was a shepherd. Of course. Shepherding started in Asia Minor. Ever seen that movie, Field of Dreams, with Kevin Costner? Great movie. <laughs> the golden dawn breaks over the wheat fields. And he just rocks, smashes the baseball into the blue sky. They are cornfields. Not much of a baseball man. Cricket has nuance. 
I prefer things in black and white. Well, Professor, here's the black. Your train leaves in two minutes, and you will never see me again if that's what you want. I want to defend the marbles of all the kids in Iran, in Britain. But I can only do that if we see inside your office's shadows with you as my eyes. You want me to betray my country? I would be executed. My family you never would never be caught. You dissected and improved the scale electrics age seven. You became one of the best nuclear scientists in the world. Fuck you, boss. The CIA and the bloody Russians. I know who you are, Professor, and I know your talent's wasted. Your daughter's next 20 years will be breathing in sky blue Sundays in her leafy green garden. I can help you with that. I'm in this for the long haul, Professor. How do I know if I can trust you? They say it's in the eyes. On three. One. Two. Three. How does this work? I drop a Radio de Maggio baseball on your bag with a chip. Nobody knows it's you. The process will be as thorough as how I've conducted this meeting. You call this a meeting? No, Professor. If you take that ball, I call it a partnership. I want to see a picture of your son. <laughs> 